Hi, my name is Shemesh Talov and I'm a product manager in the Azure Video Indexer product team. Today we will we will show how to use Azure Logic Apps together with uh, GPT-4.0 to classify object detected by Azure Video Index. In this example, we'll, show, we'll send the car thumbnails that we see here. We'll send it to GPT-4.0 for classification and then patch back the, the classification to Video Indexer. Where uh, now to use the, uh, this example, uh, we'll, I'll add the, the link to our GitHub repo in the video description. The readme file explains everything that I'll talk about in this video. You can go step by step uh, uh, and uh, set up the logic apps. Now let's go step by step. First, we'll go to uh, the Azure Video Index account that we, we have created. We'll need to collect a couple of the parameters here to use the, by the logic apps. So we'll need the subscription ID, the account ID, the location, the name of the account, and the name of the resource group. We'll also, in this, in this example, we're using Azure OpenAI and GPT-4.0 created inside the OpenAI. Um, you can actually use any type of other VLM that, that you want, but in, in this case, we're focusing on Azure OpenAI. For our logic app, we'll need a couple of the following parameters, the endpoint, for the Azure OpenAI, the application, the API key, and the deployment name for the GPT uh, model, in this case, GPT-4.0. Now let, let's look on how to create a, lo a logic app. Let's, in the Azure portal, let's click on create a resource, locate the logic apps, click create. Okay, we'll, we'll select the subscription and resource group. We'll, we'll provide a name. Okay, select the, the location for the logic app. We'll select a consumption uh, tier in the, for this case and click create. Now, after the logic app was created, we'll go back to the uh, to the GitHub and select for this example, bring your own GPT-4 classified object, select all, and paste it inside the logic app code view. Click save. It will take a couple of seconds. Another thing we'll need to set up because before we can start running the code is we'll need to set up a managed identity. We'll do that under settings, identity. Here we'll click on on, click save. It will take another few seconds. And then we're getting a managed identity uh, for the logic app. We can click on the permissions. Click on add role assignment. For our use case, we'll need to select a scope of resource group. Select the resource group for the uh, video index account that we have collected before. And the role will be contributor. Click save. Give it another few seconds. And now we can see the flow. Last step uh, to, to configure uh, if you want to run this logic app flow is click on parameters. We see here predefined parameters for all the configuration we need for this. Uh, logic app. So from the GPT, we already taken the application key, the deployment name, and the endpoint. For the video index account, we have the account ID, the account name, and the subscription. For the endpoint, for the endpoint, what we need is to use video indexer API URL base and add the, uh, the region that our account exists in. In our case, East US. Click save. And actually, from now, you can click run and test this, this flow. Now, let's break down the flow to understand what is actually happening step by step. We'll start with the trigger. You can see that this, uh, this flow is using an HTTP trigger that generates a URL that you can externally call this, uh, this logic app to trigger it. 
to understand why we want to use this HTTP request, we will we can go to the API document documentation. We'll go. We'll, we'll look at the upload video. This this API is used when you want to upload a video to be indexed in Video Index programmatically. We'll see that one of the parameters that you can pass this API is a callback URL. Callback URL will be called by video indexer indexing process when the video indexing completes successfully. It will also uh, add the video ID to the query of the callback URL. Now let's get back to the flow. We'll see that when this, this uh, HTTP uh, trigger uh, triggers, uh, we are extracting the ID from the, from the query of the URL. If you want to use any other uh, type of uh, triggers like a recurrent uh, trigger, you'll just need to set up yourself the video ID uh, for this flow to work. Now, the next step, after we have the video ID, we need to generate an access token. The access token uh, is an ARM call to, uh, to Azure Management to get a permission to, uh, to run with the Video Indexer APIs. Uh, this call is calling the management azure.com uh, URL and is um, requesting an access token with a permission type of contributor for the scope of the video index account. Last thing we see here that we are also passing the authentication as a manager identity. This is the manager identity we configured in previous steps. After we have the access token, we're extracting the token here to use by all the other API calls we're doing against Video Indexer API. The first one is the get video indexer uh, object. Uh, this call uh, is, is asking is getting the video object as a JSON format. The JSON format will uh, will have all the insights extracted from the video as we've seen before from the video indexer process. Then we'll extract here the detected object, the, uh, the detected object by video indexer. We will we'll loop using a for each loop on the detected object. This step will extract the, the specific object that we want to run the, the logic on with a condition that is checking the type of the object equals the car, because this, uh, this process is is trying to classify specific cars. As, a, as I said before, we have a lot of different other objects that can be, be used in Video Index. So we're, uh, if, we, if we want, uh, for example, uh, then the, the next step will be to call the GPT-40. We use the GPT endpoint here and the deployment name and create a body for the GPT call. The body has a content of the prompt that we see we seen earlier and the image uh, URL. This is the thumbnail that is re uh, retrieved uh, by video indexer. Okay. And now let's just uh, look at the prompt that we're uh, we're entering. Uh, we we've set a very simple prompt that will just identify and classify the, the image. We're also asking GPT to uh, classify it in less than four words, just to to be very precise in in the classification and not build a long sentence. After the GPT completes, um, we'll start building the response. To understand how the response object uh, should look like, we go again to the API management uh, portal. We will now look at the update video indexer API. The API retrieves uh, needs to uh, to get the following parameter, and specifically in the in the request body of this API, we will build uh, the JSON object for the custom insights with an add. Uh, with an, with an add uh, operation. And this is how the JSON object that we, we want to, to build looks like. So now let, let's see how it's being built. First of all, on this step, we're, we're building for each detected object, we're building the, the structure of the, the object in, our, in, a, in an array. Then we'll patch everything into uh, the, uh, the update video command, API command with an add operation. We'll set the custom insight display name to cars and patch all the results from the array we've seen earlier. 
this is how everything works. Now to see, let's see an example of a previous run that I've run uh, the, this, uh, this logic up. And again, we've seen the HTTP here, a trigger was triggered. We have extracted the video ID, called the access token, receive the access token and send it to video index API. Here we retrieved the object for this video and you can already see here one of the detected cars. We can see that is in instance we see the when the, the the object starts or enter the video and when it exits the video. We can see the for loop that uh, runs on three objects, three cars that was detected in the video. The condition was met because uh, the type of the detected object is car. We're calling GPT with the prompt that we we've seen and with the uh, URL of the thumbnail extracted by video indexer. Now we in this step we're creating the single instance for uh, this specific car, and you see that GPT already classified it as a compact crossover SUV. And in the last step, we'll see the we can see the body for the update video API. The cars, this is the custom object uh, category, and for each result, we have the first car, the ID, the time it entered, the time it left, and the type, and we can see two others instances. And that's it for this flow. Thank you.